sex is uh, legally possible outside marriage. Okay? So, what the verse in the Quran is about, this verse is not true. Somebody put it in the Quran, you might. And there's no one, you see, you see how many videos we showed them? Gays in the mosque. Women, they are dancing for hundreds of, and you know, you know what, if I, if I want to show you prostitution in the Middle East, I, I kind of flood the room with them. The, you know, the Middle East, there's countries in the Middle East, they have no income except a prostitution. And I can show you as much as you want. But now I'm asking you from the Quran. From the Quran. This is the Quran. The Quran saying the prostitution is okay. Your mind. Prostitution exists everywhere. Every, 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 everywhere. But in Islamic country, it's not legal. Okay? It's not legal. It's illegal. You... In West, it's like big fat liar. If a prostitute walk in the street to do prostitution in America, she will be arrested. Is that true, guys? Is that true? You are a big fat liar. And not only that, in the Middle East, you can walk with a beer in your hand and you will never be arrested. And I will tell a story to be honest with everybody. You know, when I came to the state, you know, in the Middle East, you drink beer. In your hand, you walk with it. Nobody complain, no police, nobody stop you. I came to the state. I, ne I don't know. I thought this is America. Come on. The first four months, I walk in the street, I have beer in my hand. <laughs> and once the police walk by, I, you know, I, I, like, I, I said, hi, moving my hand with the beer. <laughs> it did not stop. For sure he thought I'm kidding, maybe I'm kidding them, like, come on, he cannot, you know, maybe he's drinking a tea or something. <laughs> Until one day, you know, I like to drink beer, you know. Uh, uh, the last time I, drove, I, drove, I did drink beer, it was like eight months. But in summer, sometimes it's very hot, you know, beer is very healthy, it's a lot more healthy than drinking 7-Up, etc. So all this time, I don't know that it's not allowed to walk in the stream drinking, you know, drinking, drinking uh, uh, beer. It's a beer. Everybody in the Middle East do it. Everywhere. Nobody will stop you. Nobody will arrest you. In the USA, even you are not allowed, even if you are drinking, to hold the beer in your hand and walk with it. Even if it's not open, you cannot show it. In the Middle East, they allowed you to do that. And if you have them in your car, they have to be in the truck. They have to be in the truck, in the back. They are allowed to be with you, otherwise you will be arrested. So what you are saying is a big fat lie. Well, it's just a beer. We're not talking about whiskey, we're talking about wine, you know. And if somebody drink one 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 beer doesn't doesn't hurt. It's very healthy actually. But in Islam, number one who drink alcohol is the Saudi. You can go right now and search for more than 19 people that die in Saudi Arabia in one day. Why? They were drinking perfume. Look how crazy they are about alcohol. They are even drinking perfume. But you know what? We don't want to change the topic. This is Quran. The Quran saying prostitution in Islam is officially legal. This is the Quran. No, guys, let, let Muslim and French uh, be happy. Come on. Imagine yourself, you are a Muslim. Huh? And you speak a French in English room. What do you want more punishment? She has done it already, and she do not know what we are talking about because she doesn't speak English. Oh, she speak English. Someone do this filthy mouth proof. Okay. 
So, Ifran, the question is, we're not asking you how many prostitutes in the Middle East. We're not asking you how many Muslim women they are prostitutes in, in, in wherever. We are saying, this is the Quran saying, prostitution is legal, it's allowed. Why Allah is allowed in prostitution, your mind? I told you, you can have any sexual relationship in Islamic country legally, okay, in any Islamic country. But look. So you are saying the Muslims are better than Allah? Allah approve it, the Muslims don't care for Allah orders? Allah says prostitution is legal. You Muslims, you turn your eyes to Allah, say to him, shut up. We are better than you, we will not listen to you. Huh? You mind? And guys, please don't call a French Muslim a hooker. Come on, be nice. And she is not a hooker. We used to be married, just to tell you a secret. Okay, and I have a lot of kids from her. I forgot their names, by the way. Ifran! It is Allah approving prostitution. I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about Muslims even. You don't mind. I'll tell you something. You are lucky to come or to live in Islamic country which is Lebanon. Because you can hope to get married with a girl which will belong to you. You can hope. You, are, you will have, you will, you can hope. But <clears throat> in none is not how you know even which country I am I'm coming from, which country, I, and Lebanon is an Islamic country? <laughs> the president is a Christian. The head of the country is a Christian. The head of the Department of Intelligence is a Christian. The head of the army is a Christian. What is left? Huh? Is Billah? Go and see how they live. They live like a trash. Now, Ifran, I want an answer, man. I'm talking about Quran. Why you are ashamed of your Quran? Is it this the chapter you choose? Hey, Garan, how are you doing, Garan? Good to see you. You guys, you were asking for Garan? He's here. Okay, who's, who, who was asking for him? James, Jada, everybody. Majestic lady, majestic lady, don't PM me again asking for Garan, please. And by the way, I'm, he's going to get married soon. I'm going to tell her, I'm, I'm warning you, leave, it, leave the guy alone. I'm just kidding. Ifran! This is Quran. Quran says prostitution is legal, officially. You mind. I tipped down, yes, but those Christians in Lebanon share Islamic values. They believe that marriage is only only the legal reference of sex. And this is the... This is having to do with the with the question. Yes, we Christian, we don't believe in, in, in filth. Thank you very much. Now it's time to answer. Quran says, prostitution is legal. You are the, you are the one who chose this verse, man. You are the one who chose this chapter. What's wrong with you? Guys, is it him who said to me that he wanted, he, he, you know, he, he mentioned to me he chose this chapter? Is it him who chose it? What's wrong with you? Are you ashamed of your Quran? You are the one who chose the chapter. You are the one who spoke about a daughter. You're me. It's not you. It's a choice you made by your own will. Nobody forced you. I did not hold you from your ears, say, hey, give me a chapter, give me this one. You choose this one. And not only forced to take prostitution, they are forgiven. This is not the case. The case is, force them not for prostitution. If they desire chastity, have you ever heard about a prostitute? If she is a prostitute for real, the one is forced for prostitution, she's not a prostitute. We have to be honest about this. The one who forced to do something is not a prostitute. Correct, guys? This is an innocent woman. She's been used, abused. We cannot judge her. But the prostitute is the one who do things by her own will. 
those are maids, they are slaves, they have no choice, which means none of them choose to do that. So what the Quran say? Force them not for prostitution if they choose chastity. Who is the one who will decide if they choose or not? The Muslims. That's number one. Because they are the owner. If the woman should choose not